today, I'm putting together my new sandblaster. Just started unwrapping it. This is box number one. Got a few more bits down here. Um, I've been told that it's good to tiger seal most of the joints on this. So I've been and bought some tiger seal too. Right. Um, I think we uh, might do a bit of a time lapse now because this is going to take a long time and you don't want to watch this in real time, do you? So let's get the old time lapse going and watch this go together. Right, this is the camera set up where I want it to be. I think you most should be able to see everything. Um, just to let you know as well, the reason why I'm not doing the mini today is it's raining outside and I've got that hunk of junk. Not, not him, but that and uh, it gets wet inside as well as outside if it rains, so I can't really put it outside in the rain. Um, yeah, so, little boy, he's helping me to mark today. He's had haircut as well, look, look at that haircut. It's magic, isn't it, eh? Makes him look so much older. Anyway, right, let's do the time lapse on this now. I'm gonna carry on unpacking that box and uh, he's gonna help me. It's a great workbench this truck though, so it's handy. Right, well we've got everything unpacked now. Um, and the first thing that I've noticed is uh, there doesn't appear to be any instructions, unless they're still wrapped up in there, mate. I wonder if they're in there. I'll put it up on the, on the bed here. So yeah, it doesn't appear to be any instructions. Not that it's going to be very complicated. It's a, oh yeah, yeah, I think I'm going to see them through there. Hmm. I was going to say. There. Yeah, I think that's there, isn't it? Flip that over, look. There we go. Yeah, I can see them now. There is instructions. Um, but the other thing I seem to be missing is the light. I can't seem to see... I can't seem to see the light. I can't see the, can't see the lights. Sorry, joke. Um, right. Right, I'm going to have to put this camera down and uh, go. Normal this. video mode at the moment. from the sandblaster. So you just change these little bits of plastic sheet instead of um, changing the bit of glass every time it gets a bit misty. So we'll put them safe to one side. We don't want to ruin those. And oh, that no, there, that's the frame for the, uh, for the window. But yes, yeah, still no light. Show them a picture. Yeah, show them. TV personality. <laughs> Right, um, yeah, still, no, I can't do it, I'm no good. I'm still in horizontal view. Yeah, um, still no light, not that I can see anyway. Um, next, right, well, let's follow the instructions, shall we? I wonder if they're gonna be in English. Oh yeah, it says, save this manual. Quick, save it. Don't know if I'll save that one. Right, personal safety. No, I don't care about that. I just want pictures. I want pictures. Oh. Here we go, here we go, look. There we go, first picture. So we want the bit. No, we don't want that bit. No, no, the bit with a little lump on the back of it, look. Oh. That there. I think that's that one there. This one? Yep, I think that's that one. And yes. Heavy? Kind of. Right. So we want this one here according to the uh, instructions. Yeah. And then we've got to put two clips on it. And 
Where's the, uh, well, where's the bloody clips then? <laughs> look at this, look. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Let's see if we can get it. First thing, it shows two little clips. Obviously, this is what holds the light, I would guess. And I can't find them either. So that's a filter for the air, I think. I don't know. It's a sticky thing for. Oh, that's to stop it, um, stop it, stop it rattling on it. But yeah, there's definitely no clips. Definitely no clips. Well, I'm thinking of doing a light upgrade in it anyway, because uh, I think uh, the Essex Mini channel, he was he was showing around his sandblaster is spookily, because I've just bought one, so. Um, but yeah, he was saying he's put like a LED, big LED light on the top corner. I think that's a really good idea. So I think I'll probably do that as well. Um, right, I'm gonna put you back in time-lapse mode again now. And uh, we'll just see if we can get this thing roughly bolted together. We'll then do the old uh, tiger seal and bolt it together properly after that. Seal it all up. Right, time lapse mode again. Another crazy bit, look. Just put these uh, glove bits on, and there are no screws that fit in those holes to bolt that to the body. We've just gone through all the packets and everything that we've just got, and there's no screws for them. This is absolutely ridiculous. Right, we're gonna keep looking anyway. No, we have got them. They're like self-tapper type things. Actually, a uh, little pool here found them. And I said, I said it won't be them. No, 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 mate, it won't be them. It is. So, I'd say Tiger sealed this in. Oh, if it is them, they're pretty shit. Well, at least they're going to be Tiger sealed. So, they're like little self tappers. They're, uh, uh, where's the camera? There we go. That. Pretty shit, really. I'd have, I'd have nut and bolted that. I thought they would have been nuts and bolts. But let's get these in. Oh, that is pretty shit. Right. Oh, they're, them self tapper things are absolute crap. That's not going to hold that, especially when there's pressure in there as well. So, got some uh, M6 Allen key bolts, whatever you want to call them. Um, I'm going to. Drill out the holes and put some M6 bolts in there. So, right, back on time lapse for you. Just realised that we're filming this and uh, all you can see is their backs. So, let's try and give you another perspective on it. Don't want to look at me, do you? There you go. What do you reckon? Down there? Yep. Good. Yep, let's do that. Well, I've realised I fucked up. You did. Rubber gasket for them bits. Go! Oh! Glove fight. I found the light. 
I've seen the light. I've seen the. I've seen the light. It's probably going to be shit, but found it. All right now, I've got to put these clips on that hold the light to the back of the inside of the cabinet. Um, yeah, do that. I'll do that. In, I'll do that in real time, so you can see how long it takes me to do up a screw. I think I might need a spanner for this as well. Be in that little box next to you, mate. Um, I say eight mil. Eighteen. Be a very small one. You got that on a clip? Yeah. Sorry. What about the nut? I don't see the nut. Life, it's not an eight. It's not. It's a seven. You <laughs> <laughs> found it. Pretty sure. No, it's too big. It's nine. No. See how long this takes. Look, two little screws, and we've already been two minutes. Yeah. Should definitely be in there, mate, because it's not in the toolbox. Seven. What are you trying to say? Measure six, sir. I don't want to imagine that because that would be really bad. Don't do that! Stabbing spanners through the cardboard! God, bloody hell. <laughs> right. Where's the light? Where's the light? I want to see what the light looks like in there now. Whoa, posh. Look at that. That's amaze balls. Right. Back on time lapse. Gonna put some more bits together. After much deliberation, we gotta fit this bit. And I can't see a rubber gasket for it. I've got this little blanking panel, but no rubber gasket for this, so tiger seal. This is beginning to get quite big now. Um, and obviously what I want to do, I want to, I'll, I'll get the camera and show you a bit a little easier. Oh God, if I can reach you now. Ah. Yeah, what I want to do inside all these corners, this is where I want to put the tiger seal as well. It has got a little foam pad. I don't know if you can make it out on the camera there but the foam pad isn't even touching the metal in the top corner there. I mean, it may do once this all bolted together, but it's gonna be, uh, gonna be leaking. I do not want leaks. Hopefully, I want this to be dust free, you reckon? So yeah, I've gotta put it all together. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get this 
front panel on now, the bit with the gloves on. And then I'm gonna seam seal all inside it. it might be a mistake, I? Because I've got this shit all over my hands already. Look, I should put gloves on, shouldn't I? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I wanna put the front panel on now, bolt all that up and then seam seal all the four corners in that and then put the top on and then at least I can flip it upside down and work on it upside down on the floor then. So, right, let me put you back in your little holder and uh, I'll carry on with a little bit more time lapse. Let us know in the comments what you think of this time lapse. I don't know if it goes on too long or you know, you just get bored and skip through the video. Um, let us know if you actually watch this bit. I'll be interested to see how many comments I get. <laughs> Right, um, squeeze past this again. Let's put you back in your... Slight change of plan. I was going to tiger seal all around that, but now I think I'm actually going to put the top on, flip it on its back, and then actually sort of up inside and... You know, I flip it up like that so I can get in from underneath and then go around all that and then put the hopper on on the bottom. So kind of makes sense really, doesn't it? Then I can tiger seal this whole sort of top section so there's no leaks in it. Well, in time-lapse mode, that probably didn't seem too long, but wow, just put in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 24 screw little nuts and bolts in to do the top panel. Wow, <laughs> takes ages. So I've just got to actually tighten all these up now, so I'll stop the video. Gets too boring, doesn't it, otherwise? Right, that's that all bolted up tight. Um, so I now think I'll flip it around the other way so I can sort of not get in it, but get to it. Oh, it's getting heavy now and all. So now I can uh, get sort of inside here and I can go around and tiger sit all the, all the edges. Oh. Oh, it. Ah. Yeah, it's getting proper heavy in there, so right. Let's grab the tiger seal, haha, <laughs> which is through here. Yeah. Right then, I'm gonna get my torch so I can see what I'm doing in there and uh, go around all the edges. Back in a mo. Right, I'm really confused now. Um, ugh, I've got this panel here. Now there's gonna be people screaming at their phones or whatever you're watching it on now, saying, oh, you silly prat, you're supposed to put that on first, but I don't know, I just, it just doesn't make sense. In the instructions, this panel isn't even shown in the instructions. Let's just lean it up there again. Yeah, this panel, you can't really see. That's, that's the main assembly of the cabinet there. And all you've got is the top and the four sides going together. Then the next piece, that just shows you about the switch and wiring the light up. And then it tells you to put the funnel together. Then it tells you to put the legs on. I mean, even on the page before, that just tells you how to, you know, to put the gloves in and the little thing on the side and stuff like that. So that's it. It does look like it goes on the bottom. I can't work it out. It's really weird. And yeah, the next one, then it tells you to put the legs on. And then the final one, oh, I suppose there it is. Nine, ten, of that. even that doesn't make sense because there's no, I don't know, there's no holes going up through this bit to bolt it up under the thing. Really confused. Like I say, you're all going to be shouting now and thinking, yeah, yeah, that's how you do that, that's how you do it. For those that have built one already, obviously no, but 
the instructions are like, I hate instructions most of the time, but these instructions are like really weird. So yeah, it says lower shelf and window. Ensure, in, in, oh, install the lower shelf with the bolts, flat washers and nuts. No, that's, and then that's the window film. Place the bottom plate nine, which has foam on either side with the screen frame 10. Oh, right, okay. Right, I'm going to put the phone down again, see if I can work this out. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, what a dick. Um, yeah, I realise where that bit goes now. I've been trying to put it inside the cabinet, laying it up in there, thinking, well, none of the holes line up. What the hell is this on about? And then I turn to the very last page of the book and see that bit down there. It actually goes halfway through the legs, halfway down the legs, and the hopper, bottom of the hopper slips through it. So it's like a shelf. Right, normal service is resumed, I think. Yeah, I've just got to figure out how this bit goes together now on that funnel bit, and uh, it's pretty simple, really, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's like an exploded diagram, like on the very last page, which is a lot more helpful. So that's good. Right, let's crack on, do this bit. You notice my little helper's gone now. No staying power, some of these kids. Mind you, I feel like giving up at the moment. Uh, where's my pop? Oh, 10 mil spanner. Come on, where are you? Oh. oh, there it is on the floor. So I'm putting the legs on now. There's some little spacers that have got to go in here apparently, so they've gone in first just behind the leg. See if I can get this sitting straight. It's probably not the best thing to do, doing it laying on its side, but. Seems to be working all right. Yeah, this is apparently the legs go on now and then you build the hopper up which I've partially done I've got it all to go four sides together and then you put that up underneath it's gonna be fun isn't it I think I'm gonna need my little helper again well it's one leg on Three more to go. Catch you in uh, time. Oh my god, it's huge. Wow. That is going to be awesome. Awesome. Well, try and get this thing at the bottom together now. It's going to be fun. I think. Yeah, I think that, cr that frame, yeah, that'll go through the door there, definitely. So I've got to get all this. Cool, blimey. Right, okay, well, this is going to be fun. Definitely putting this in time lapse because there's probably going to be lots of swearing now.
Well, you've got to push these bolts through two pieces of little white foam, which hopefully should hold it together. So I'm kind of hoping to slip that under there now, although I've just realized I've got to take it all back apart again because I want to put tiger seal down all them corners. I've got to do that really. I've noticed the join in the rubber here as well. You can probably see it on the camera. It's got quite a gap there, so that's going to receive the old tiger seal as well. Where is it? Let's do that now. Squish this in the uh, in the gap. There we go. That's that gap filled. Um, I suppose, yeah, what a pain, but I've got to do it because I can't do it once it's all done. Take it all back apart again. Well, only just this grill thing off the top, that's all. Yeah, let's get that off for the moment. run a bead of tiger seal down all these uh, corners like that makes it a lot easier and of course I've got no media for this yet so give it a week or so this tiger seal would have gone off properly and that'll be all set nice and nothing will stick to it the while then Still got to put the uh, little trap door thing on the bottom as well so I suppose I better do that before I uh, actually assemble this onto the whole the cabinet that's it nice bead down the edge let's flip it over do the same this side Good stuff is tiger seal. I use it. I used to use it to stick um, uh, door skins together on the minis. So uh, you know, you stick the skin onto the frame. Never had any problems. Been really, really good. And I find it's best to use the proper U pole tiger seal rather than the cheaper stuff that you can buy in a lot of motor factors it seems to be a a lot more stickier right let's put that trapdoor thing on the bottom where is it do that first because i'm going to coat that in tiger seal as well oh i see let's see how that works that's it's pretty primitive isn't it works i suppose that's all you need Right, let's turn this right round. There you go, you can see all the uh, cedar in the corners now. Right. Let's use my box of spanners to prop that up. Wow, that is going to need a, a lot of seal around it. What I might do, I might put that on and then seal around it afterwards. So I can get in all the little gaps. Because, yeah, that is going to leak like the proverbial sieve. Wow. Right. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get it on there. Might be able to seal it from the inside and the outside actually. But it definitely needs sealing up. I 
Right, um, might as well not form, uh, film this boring bit, anyway. Right, now we're back to this stage. So, I've got to get that under that. And no, not my belly. Under that. Ooh. Right, this could be a good little juggling match. Oh, cross it off, bloody heavy and all. Um, right, I think I might need my jack. Let's go and grab a trolley jack, I think. Go and jack this up. Right, got it all balanced on a trolley jack now, so from the bolt the back over the back has fallen out, so that's kind of a bit shit really. So let's jack this up. See if we can actually get them to line up. Very much doubt the bolts will go straight in, will they? Oh my god, this jack's slow. Going up square though. You wait, I'll fall off in a minute. <laughs> oh god. I've got this top enough, haven't I? Yeah. Right, I'm gonna push it back a bit. Ah. kind of lining up so let me get a nut on that well it's going pretty good really it's going together all right I think thought this hopper bit was gonna be quite tricky I suppose it probably would be better if you turn the whole thing upside down but I really got the floor space at the moment so Right, I'll be back in a minute. I'm gonna switch the camera off. Once I've got this bottom bit bolted in, I'll get back to you. Well, um, time has beaten me. It's now uh, two o'clock. I think it comes up backwards on the front fa front facing camera, doesn't it? But yeah, um, I've got all the hopper kind of just nut and bolted on, but haven't tightened them up yet. Uh, still got obviously all the top uh, screen to put in, door to put on the side of here, and the shelf bit to go at the bottom. Remember the shelf bit? Yeah. So, uh, but it's two o'clock, I start work at four, so I want to have a little bit of relaxing time before I start work because it's absolutely pouring down, which is not nice to work in either. So I'm not really looking forward to that. But yeah, that's as much as I can really do today. Um, seeing as um, Stanford Hall's been cancelled tomorrow, I'll probably carry on tomorrow. Um, once I've done this, I can do a little bit more to the mini as well. But back of the truck looks like a bleeding bomb site. Loads of stuff on that, so I've got to tidy that up tomorrow as well. I'm not doing that today. But yeah, got to tighten up that ring of bolts to hold the hopper up. I think that's about it. Get the screen on, yeah. Oh, I think we're pretty much there. It's it's looking good, it's looking good. Um, yeah, catch you tomorrow. I'll film it again tomorrow. Finished product. Bye.